Hi Tanya. Did I tell you about Bitcoin? No. What is that? It is a new internet digital currency that is quite unique. There is no central authority managing it. It just exists as a peer-to-peer -peer network on the internet. Hmm. I didn't know that was possible. Why would people accept such a currency as payment? Well, that has to do with confidence. Confidence that people will accept the digital currency in the future. Yeah. Right now it is mainly accepted by people who understand the cryptographic principles behind it and also believe that currency creation cannot be trusted in the hands of governments. Well, that has clearly been shown many times in history. Governments always monopolize minting and printing money and it has always been used to debase the currency. Right. The market chose gold and silver as money, partly because it is impossible to counterfeit. But these are obviously not very well suited for internet payments. It may be hard to assure yourself of the fact that any electronic currency is really backed for a full 100% by physical assets. Yeah. But more importantly, there is always the risk of government interfering and shutting down the electronic currency. Exactly, but both problems are taken care of by Bitcoin. Oh. Bitcoin transfer transactions are registered by a decentralized timestamp server composed of computers on the internet organized in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Similar systems like BitTorrent are nearly impossible to shut down. Yes. The incentive to become a node in the Bitcoin network and participate in the verification of Bitcoin exchange transactions is the fact that this very act earns you Bitcoins. Wow. But how do you know that all nodes remain honest and don't insert fraudulent transactions that counterfeit the currency? Let me explain. As a node, you constantly receive new transactions from the network as people are spending bitcoins. Hmm. It is important to understand that people hold the cryptographic keys to their own money. When someone spends bitcoins, he or she signs the transaction with a private key. The network can then check that the transaction is authentic by using the public key. Yes, I am familiar with that. This is called public key cryptography. New transactions are collected in a block by the node. As a reward for participating in the network, the node can add one additional transaction to the block, assigning 50 newly created bitcoins to his own personal bitcoin address. Ah, but if creating a new block is worth 50 bitcoins, what is keeping the nodes from flooding the Bitcoin network with new blocks? Now, all nodes are doing this same thing, but only one gets to earn the reward. The ingenious principle behind Bitcoin is the proof-of-work algorithm by which the node has to authenticate the block, like a checksum or hash. Uh-huh. The proof-of-work hash is very difficult to calculate and therefore requires work or CPU time from the node computer. The amount of work required to find the hash is essentially probabilistic. The chance of finding the hash is proportional to the amount of CPU cycles the node computer spends on finding the hash. Right. The node that finds the hash first will transmit the block to the network, where it will be received by the other nodes. Each node checks whether the proof of work hash is valid for the block. Contrary to producing the hash, verifying the hash is a very easy task. This is amazing. I would assume that it isn't feasible to change the content of the block without redoing the proof of work? That's right. And when a node receives a block with a valid hash it adds it to the top of the chain of previous received valid blocks. Then it will start working on the next block. So each node maintains a chain of blocks that register all the transactions that have ever taken place on the Bitcoin network. Yeah. It's a decentralized timestamp server that checks that bitcoins are spent from one bitcoin address to another only when the bitcoins were indeed received by the first address in the first place. Uh-huh. And nodes reward themselves with 50 bitcoins for their work to make the bitcoin network safe. Yes, and the network will accept this. Each node knows that all other nodes most likely will do the same thing because inserting a different block with different transactions will require extra CPU power. Okay. Moreover, if a node finds out that there is a longer chain of valid blocks present on the network, it will drop the shorter chain for the longer one and start working on the longer one. Ah, so it is possible the multiple chains exist temporarily on the network.
but nodes will favor to work on the longest chain as soon as they become aware of it. That's correct. The reason is that the longest blockchain emanates from the largest pool of CPU power, which makes it the most reliable account of Bitcoin transactions in the past. Indeed. It would be very hard to counterfeit that one. Yes. Now back to the problem of the backing of the currency by assets. Notice that the value of money, whether it is gold or paper always depends on the willingness of people to accept it as a means of exchange. This is sometimes called the monetary value. Uh-huh. Well gold is just a metal that happens to have very nice properties that make it extra suitable as a means of exchange. But I have to admit that it is a little archaic. If it would not be used for money it would certainly not have such a large value. Well, even today gold is very important as money, because gold cannot easily be destroyed. Where there is no internet or electricity gold is still money. I totally get it. Yeah. Bitcoin has some properties that make it rival gold. Like the impossibility to counterfeit or double spend it. But in other areas Bitcoin totally outpaces gold in even existing electronic currencies. For example the relative anonymity of Bitcoin addresses, and therefore the possibility of micropayments. But wait a minute. Nodes can still create Bitcoins out of nothing. And while the Bitcoin network grows, won't the bitcoins created this way lead to inflation? That's a great question. Note that there is another way of rewarding nodes for creating blocks. You can always give part of the input amount of the bitcoin transaction as fee to the node. The input amount then equals the output amount plus fee. Uh-huh. Currently the bitcoin nodes use software that is programmed to adjust the difficulty of the proof of work algorithm in such a way that it always takes a week to generate 2016 blocks. Besides that, each four years the reward for block creation will be half. This way the incentive for node participation will be driven from block rewards to transaction fees. Interesting. Then nodes will only record transactions that pay enough fee. Uh-huh. The operation of this mechanism is heavily debated by the Bitcoin community. I would say that the optimal reward mechanism of a decentralized currency will be determined by the market. Therefore I expect that similar but competing currencies will come into existence or maybe the Bitcoin blockchain will split into multiple chains that adopt different rules or monetary constitution. This is so completely the monetary wild west. This is what you should expect. Software development projects and all kinds of internet services can now be paid for with Bitcoin at the click of a mouse. Great, explain me how to buy some Bitcoins.